Hi everybody, I have a quick tutorial for you about uh, how you can export stems uh, and they're also known as trackouts uh, from Ableton Live. And why would you want to do this? Or what, what are stems? What are trackouts? So here we are in our uh, arrange view. We can see we've got all these tracks. This is a chill out groove track that I've made and I've just bounced out my final mix and um, where we've taken all of these individual tracks and summed them all up into a single stereo file. Now I want the track outs, the stems, which is just a single audio file for each track. And the reason we might need these is if we're sending uh, the track off to a professional mixing engineer that might be using a different digital audio workstation to us. The other reason is if we've got all sorts of fancy plugins, uh, third-party plugins and synths uh, like contact here um, we it's a really good idea to print those digital uh, virtual instruments rather um, into audio because we may uh, want to remix this song in the future and we might be on a different computer we might not have these plugins anymore we might not have access to these plugins or you may have lost the dongle or something for whatever reason if you print everything out as audio, you're safe. You, you can open it up in any digital audio workstation. Um, and also, if you're a beat maker or you're selling uh, tracks uh, professionally, production music tracks, sometimes clients will ask, uh, like uh, television companies or radio stations, if they've bought your song for an advertisement, they will actually ask for the stems because they may have an in house uh, engineer that might want to uh, be able to mix them or if you're selling them a beats on beatstars.com or something like that you can actually make a lot more money per sale if you sell the track outs as well which means that the artist who buys your song will get the multi tracks so they might not particularly like your bass sound and they want to replace it with their own so they can then mute your bass and add their own bass sound so that's why you'd want to do it how do you do it well very simple we select from zero um, actually, I'm going to use this loop, uh, this little loop thing up the top. I like this way to select the start and the finish of where I want my stems to start. So I'm going to drag it all the way to zero. Starting at zero, stems from zero is always a good idea. Zero is all the way to the left. And then I'm going to drag this to the end of the track. Um, so let's see if we can, I haven't done a fade out, so I think it finishes there. So I'm going to give it, you know, four or five seconds at the end. Um, and then make sure before you bounce out your stems that you definitely have every track clearly named. Because when you just drag in a um, virtual instrument, it'll just name, like here, this is the Electric 88. That's actually a Fender Rhodes. So I'm going to call that roads one and roads two because um, that will be the name of the audio file for that track so see I've got my range selected here it's as simple as going up to file export audio slash video going to your master and in, where it says here rendered track instead of master you want to go all individual tracks um, that will give you even that will give you a master render. It will render out all of the effects. It will give you every single one of these tracks as a stereo audio file. If you want them all as mono, you can click convert to mono on. But a bunch of these tracks here are in stereo. So it's if you render out a mono track as stereo, it's fine. When someone goes to mix that, they will just delete one half of the the audio stem. Uh, or they'll down mix it to mono so that's fine and uh, here this is quite important here um, I want to keep a copy in 44.1 kilohertz and 16 bit which is CD quality audio uh, it's a smaller file size I did have it on 48 but you'll see that my for the purposes of this recording um, I had my master clock set to 44.1 so you always want to select the one that has the speaker on it because that's what the session rate is set as okay so then if I click export I need to then say where 
is this going to go? So I'm going to create, this song is called Smoke and Mirrors. I'm going to call that Stems or Track Outs if you want. And then I'm just going to have the name here as the name of the song. And then it's going to render them all out. And I'll uh, pause the tape and come back to you when that's completed. Okay, that's finished now. And I'm going to have a look on my desktop where I bounced out those stems. And there we have it. There they all are. Um, that would be the master track there because it's just the name. So have a quick listen to that. So that's the whole track. And then that would be just the tambourine. Just the strings. And uh, we've got all the effects tracks here. The reverb. So that's just the reverb there. And um, if I want to drag that into a new session, <clears throat> I'll show you what they look like when you bring them in. So this could be a different door if you like, like Pro Tools or Cubase or whatever. Um, I've got one setting here under the record, warp and launch. Um, I do not have auto warp long samples on. I've got that off. You have to have that off when you drag in stems if you, unless you want them to conform to whatever BPM you've set there. So I'm going to drag this into an empty spot at zero. I'm going to hold down the command uh, on a Mac, probably be control on a, a PC. And that will mean that it puts them all on individual tracks. Um, and you'll see there, all of the names are whatever I had on the track. There's a the reverb, the delay. And if I play this, that should be exactly my mix as it came out. Um, so there you have it. That's how you do track outs. That's how you do stems. And it's really cool to have um, stems of your mix because um, just what happened to me recently, I had a friend that wanted me to do a remix of one of my old tracks that I made on my old computer. And um, the computer is no longer operational. So I essentially couldn't get into my mix because I made it in Cubase. And I don't have Cubase installed on any of my current computers. I don't have a current license for Cubase. So I thought if uh, if I'd only bounced out stems, I tend to do that now with every mix. Uh, when I create a track, I bounce out a mix and then I bounce out the stems. And then I simply compress them and keep them in a zip file um, and then archive them. And then I've got them forever. If any other mix engineer wants them or needs them, or if I want to remix my own track, I can pop those stems into any digital audio workstation. So much easier. Um, so there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed that uh, short tutorial. And uh, uh, have a good week, and we'll see you next time.